Hello Taurus, welcome to your August 2024 monthly energy reading. Alrighty, let's get into this. So looking at your cards, you are definitely starting out in an energy of the fool. So something is definitely making itself available to you. Energy and energetic wise, maybe you gain something. The interesting part about this, Taurus, is, is you're starting out and leading this month's energy with a good positive card. So what that mean with that being said, what it means to me is is that you possibly started this month out with good news. I mean, why wouldn't it be out of the realm of possibility to think that? However, the problem is is that with this there's also something that keeps you up at night. And um I feel that this thing is something that you are unfortunately not looking forward to. It's like you're passionate about it, but it brings some type of anxiety to you at the same time. What could that be, spirit? Give me something for that. Um, okay, that flew across the room. All right, so this is a, a brand new job. Some of you guys are... Wrapping your head around either looking for another job, wrapping your head around a new beginning in something. Are you walking into some type of new position, new job, something that's bringing more money, but with that more money either brings responsibility or brings just some folks you don't want to deal with. I do have a, a very good friend of mine who's not a client, but she definitely is a Taurus rising She's a Taurus rising and Taurus sun, and she is um, getting a position created for her, which is beautiful, but she doesn't want to work with those folks. It's interesting because I meditated upon these cards, and it looks like that's what she's dealing with. She's definitely coming out. So I can tell you that some of you guys, it does involve money or a money-related issue. Um, as the queen of wands, you are showing up being very excited about this, but you know what you want. You possibly even work for it. Just like my friend did. She worked for it, but at the same time, it's like, okay, uh, great. I worked for this. This is what I wanted to accomplish. The issue is though, is that what did I get myself into almost? It's like, what the hell did I get myself into, you know, the queen of wands is confidence and independence and, you know, leading with such a positive energy of the fool, you know, that's beautiful energy, which means that you could have definitely started out this month in an energy of new beginnings and, you know, spontaneity and freedom and things of that nature. Um, it embodies freedom, a sense of freedom and adventure, but at the same time, um, you know, the card is inviting you to to approach it in the childlike wonder and the willingness to learn. And although you may be experiencing that, something definitely gives you anxiety and has you up at night um, about, you know, what the prospect of that is. Moving into our, our next um, row of cards, we are going into a Knight of Swords under the Fool. So it could be that a part of what is and that those sword cards tie back to your anxiety. So this kind of points out to the fact here that you don't like some communication that you're being given right now. Um, you feel like something around you, some communication is on some BS, like somebody is on some real BS with the way that they communicate, it's a communication that leaves a lot of questions. Um, and I'm going to tell you, Taurus, a lot of times, you know, jobs and opportunities do come when we are in a, a retrograde. And I know that for a lot of you, this is involving money as that card that I've already looked at. Um, because this Mercury retrograde for a lot of you, or at least this blue moon, this blue moon that's taking place on Monday, if I'm not mistaken, this is hitting you guys in your second house. So, you know, as a Taurus sun and rising, you're dealing with a lot of newness surrounded around your bag. OK, but let's get back to this Knight of Swords. So something in the way that a person communicates is not your cup of tea. You just like, listen, and it could be that there is a very assertive energy around you. 
this upright does talk about action and ambition and determination and but I feel that if it's causing you some anxiety, you may be experiencing this in reverse right now. Of course you are because Mercury is in retrograde. So there has been missing information, things that you've had to rethink, um, things that had to be revised, things within the opportunity, Taurus, that has uh, turned out to be a pain in the ass. <laughs> it's like two steps forward, two steps back, and... It's causing you a lot of anxiety as well as um, in the heart place, especially um, that it's causing um, a lot of uh, mental, um, I want to say blockages. I'm going to tell you that a lot of these things that you are experiencing when we're tying that nine of swords, knight of swords and eight of swords back together has a lot to do with. And I don't mean to say this and make it sound bad, but I have to say it. It's in your head. A lot of it is just the annoyances of having to deal with the powers that be because the eight of swords is your own restriction, your own imper uh, imprisonment, your own fear, um, your own limitations. OK, so if this card was in reverse, you would be releasing yourself from that. Um, this is taking responsibility. This card talks about feeling victimized and overwhelmed by external pressures or overwhelmed by internal pressure so you may be trying to move forward with this new opportunity embracing the ace of pentacles that i um had just uh um, clarified here i'm going to take another clarification um in a second once i'm done breaking down the sun but at the same time you're in your head about this shit you're as passionate about it on one hand you can move forward and and take action absolutely but at the same time you do have some mental um, restrictions. Um, and some of this is pointing to the fact that you're kind of creating your own mental prison. I'm not saying that the powers that be that is external to you are not a pain in the ass or is what I am suggesting, however, is that the way in which you're looking at it is causing some limitations and causing some unnecessary fear. There are some powers that uh, people around you um, that are a pain. These people do not know how to communicate. And to some degree, they create more problems with their non-communication. But in order for you to step into these new opportunities to make money and accept this bag that you are creating, you have to deal with the, the BS that comes along with it. OK, good news is, is that our second uh, major arcana is here, indicating that although you are aggravated as hell, <laughs> overall you're happy so um this is joy success vitality positivity things of that nature give me a clarification spirit here on um the knight of swords the eight of swords and the sun uh-huh four of coins yeah so again this is going back to my theory a four of pentacles clarifying these three cards just indicate you know that at the end of the day this is kind of something in your own making like you you are like this is this is you um experiencing this because of the way that you think about something there is some indication in other words that there is the way in which you look at this, this is causing the majority of your issues, because I'm going to tell you again, stressing the sun comes out, you've achieved something, you know, the sun illuminates everything it touches. So the sun is bringing light to the dark. It's bringing clarity to the confusion. But yet, I think that this could be an energy Taurus collective where You've just been jaded so much that you're like, do I trust this? Like, what the hell? Um, it's that energy of waiting on the other shoe to drop. It's like, okay, what else? You know, but I want you to know that with the first six cards, our sword cards are connected. You've been jaded, lied to, overlooked, um, or just went through a very hard time recently. So, I want you to know that we need to stop paying attention to those external forces, although I know it's easier said than done. But keep the expectations and the external forces of confusion and doubt at bay. It's because of the people that you're dealing with. Let's try not to be so focused on 
um, the annoyances of what people are saying and just focus on the light that comes with the sun. OK, it's interesting, too, here, because I'm also looking at joyous times coming up. Um, but before we get into our last row, I do want to clarify that th those three cards. So the Knight of Swords and the Eight of Swords and the Sun is being clarified by the Four of Coins. And again, that is that energy of stinginess and selfishness. And I'm going to tell you, I know the reason why you're holding on. You're holding on to every damn coin and you're holding on to every pinnacle because you've been put in a position where you have to. You've suffered some type of uh, financial loss. You've it suffered some type of financial instability or maybe you have put in the work from a previous um, insecurity um, of something that either was um, taken from you or that you lost and you don't want to end up back there and I don't blame you I don't blame you but the sun is here and the sun is finally allowing you to look at uh, the bright side of things and accept the blessings that are coming in your way um, yes, the four of pentacles, you're in an energy where you are trying to manage money down to the dime. I understand it, guys. Trust me. Taurus, Venus and Mars here. So with having this energy and, and a financial house and my eighth house, it's hard because that house is other people's money. That house is, you know, constantly dealing with other people in their crap and having to talk, you know, and and exchange ideas and you know, with having that Taurus energy there, yes, we want to possess. We, it's mine, mine, mine. I don't, I'm not going to let you come and mess up what I have. But it is also um, crucial to remain open to the new opportunities and experiences that come our way, guys. Because at the end of the day, um, the Four of Pentacles as a lesson, I feel, is a reminder that balance is needed. OK, balance is needed. So we have to balance preserving what we already have and being open to the growth and new opportunities of things that are coming into us. I love that message for you. OK, and finally, we're looking at good things um, coming your way. I mean, this is a little confusing. I'm looking at a three of cups. The three of cups does talk about maybe you're going to be going out and having some fun. You should. Um, this is camaraderie. This is community. You know, this is celebration, friendship, collaboration. Um, so you could have some friends that are helping you look at some, uh, something, uh, something, person, place, or thing that's new coming into you and your friends are here. Um, I don't know what that card is that just came out. All right. We're going to put that back in the deck for now. Um, Maybe you've been isolated. Maybe you haven't allowed yourself to have some fun. So now is the time to do that. So that's a good thing. You know, I want you to be able to have some fun. If you heard that noise, I apologize. <laughs> My computer's making noise. Um, but this is good. This is, you know, highlighting the importance of, you know, celebrating your milestones. You just, you're experiencing something that's new. Maybe you're going out for a celebratory dinner. Um, that's awesome. You should be maybe someone romantic wants to take you out. That's also an option as well. And looking at the next card, though, we are we do have some defensive energy that is here. Um, it looks like you may be subjected to a defensiveness type of type of energy, which is unfortunate. I don't know what type of situation is causing that to happen. I will clarify these three cards in a second. But it seems like um, this is defense. Um, you are having to show your resilience um, or you're protecting certain yourself from certain friends. Um, I hope this doesn't, you know, manifest itself in like very obviously going out and having to defend yourself from a friend. Um, it also, though, kind of reads intuitively to me, especially with that other seven being there, the seven of cups. This goes back to that damn Knight of Swords energy. There is somebody in your ear that always has something that they want you to do, Taurus. It's always, well, you should do this and you should do that. Please stop listening to whatever, who, whatever and whomever these people are saying. These, there is um, people that may be helping you in your in external, um, your internal environment that may be saying, well, you should have done this or you should have done that, okay? They've suggested an option to you that is not viable, period. 
you are standing your ground and you're going to it's going to take a lot of courage for you to stand up to this. Um, the seven of wands should be encouraging you to fight for what you believe in and definitely what you have you what you have um, already achieved. OK, that seven of cups is indi is indicating to me that someone wants you to look at options that are not viable. You you're you're defending yourself. Someone wants you to or is encouraging you to make options or consider options based upon illusionary or not viable or wishful thinking type of choices. No, you have multiple options, multiple things you can do, multiple friends, family members, people that care about you or multiple options, opportunities that have come your way. And it is your job to discern between what is viable and what is not. There is some people that you're going to have to defend yourself um, um, against, um, and people feel like they know what's best for you. It's frustrating. It's frustrating for me to read it to you because it's just like, why do I have to argue with you about what's best for me? Someone that may have helped you, one of your good friends, you may be experiencing some type of argument, um, with someone because there is a, um, they want you to go into a path that you don't um, agree with. Okay, let's go ahead and clarify these three. And what did come out, honorable mention, is again that ace of coins. You're going to be um, submitted, submitted. You're going to be, okay, these cards are all over the place. I am going to ask again because that ace of coins has come out twice. Um, you're going to be presented with multiple options and you're going to be able to sift between what is real and what is fake. Clarify these three cards, the three of cups, the seven of wands and the seven of cups, please, spirit. And your cards keep falling. I also know that that is a good indication that you're feeling like or have felt like every time you turn around, you take two steps forward and you're taking two steps back. <sighs> The option that you are choosing to go with may be an option with this page of coins um, that you're going to have to, there's going to be some study involved, something that you have to study, um, something that you really have to um, maybe do something that this person or these group of people that care about you have never seen you do. And it, it, it kind of is different than what you would normally do. One of these opportunities is going to, re because when I'm looking at this page of, co of, of, of coins or page of pentacle card, although that card is the card that really speaks to a message um, of abundance, that is the job offer. Someone out of these opportunities it may call you back this particular month. And I think that this one is going to find you outside of your comfort zone. This is study. There is a certain aspect of the page of Pentacles that speaks about study, um, training, something that's involved, planning. Um, it is ambition and new opportunities. There's a thirst for knowledge. Um, again, this could be in the realms of career and education and personal development. So there is some sort of um, training that comes from this and it may seem that it may be a little daunting if this is something that's causing you anxiety you're going to be just fine the sun um, will drown out everything but don't allow the sun at the same time to blind you um, from the work that still needs to be done for this opportunity. I'm just going to put it out there for you, Taurus. But it is not nothing that you can't handle. I am not picking up on anything that is bad with this. I think that this is just going to throw some people off guard because you're such a mover and a shaker. Um, you're going to be learning something new, and you're going to have to defend yourself, uh, you know, against some folks that think they know better. OK, I do see that there is an annoying energy in your in, in your energy. And you're just like, listen, stop talking to me about what I need to do. All right. So in closing, I think it's safe to say that I'm going to pull one last card that's going to talk about spiritual guidance for the month of August. But um, our major arcana here is the sun and the fool. How do we not end with that? How is that not a good month, Taurus? I think that. Um, you do have a lot of opportunities coming your way and, um, the, you know, the, the sun is shining bright now. You 
you're overcoming something. Give me one card that represents spiritual advice, please, so I can close the reading. I think that those are the major arcana that remain. How can you get better than the fool and the sun combined? Tremendous opportunities coming your way. We got two cards. Look at that. The high priestess and the nine of cups. Check us out. See, this is something that you wish for. You wish for more money. You wish to be taken seriously. You wish to be back on track. High priestess is reminding you to use your intuition. Let's go on to each one of these really quickly. Um, when we talk about high priestess, um, that's our third major arcana. How could we not um, look at that and say, wow, high priestess is here High priestess is intu in intuition and um, it's reminding you to trust your inner voice and pay attention to what you want, your dreams, your feelings. OK, you just discover who you were. You're not the same person who that you, what you're not the same person that you was. And nobody can come in and tell you how you feel about this. So from a spiritual advice uh, standpoint, this card doubles down on reminding you to trust your intuition. This card shows up, uh, Tauruses, and, and reminds you to um, the importance of what you have learned on the inside, your inner knowledge. You have sat in quiet reflection. If you haven't, tell all these external um, voices and people, places and things that, you know, people, in, you know, that have something to say to shut up or just, you know, disconnect yourself from all of that talk and also um from the inner talk from the from that inner voice that is telling you that something is going to happen because when you look inside of yourself and it may sound corny but sometimes the answer is within you but you may be a person that is a comfortable I don't know your combination but that's you know more comfortable with talking to people about your problems please get one person I, I tell you guys a lot like it's okay to rely on folk, but sometimes we have to really limit who the hell we tell things to. People get mad when I say that, but you have to. You have to because everyone does not know how to give the best advice. Moving on to our nine of cups, beautiful energy, which represents that. Um, it, it indicates to me, honestly, that something is here that's a wish to you. I've already told you that the sun is the happiest card of the deck, but... And the sun also will melt away all of the doubt and the sun will shine through regardless. But this is satisfaction. This brings you, this will bring you, well, for some of you guys, pleasure. But I really don't feel like this is talking about anything else. But if it is and doesn't resonate with work or money for you, then this is a commitment. So you know what you need. Satisfaction, commitment, fulfillment, gratitude, pleasure. You know, from a spiritual perspective, again, it doubles down on that. It doubles down on that energy of um, this is a time of contentment and satisfaction. Emotional fulfillment is at hand. What you wish for and to some to some degree you're going to receive. All right. I love this reading for you this month it is a challenging month. So I'm just telling you, but um, I want you to enjoy it. Like, share, subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. Everything you need is below in the description box for you and your collective tours. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.